My pleasure this morning to introduce today's speaker, Jackie Kelleher, a member of the class of 2012. Jackie is a proud Brooks alumna for whom athletics played a large role in her Brooks experience and beyond. I had the privilege of working with Jackie as her advisor, coaching her on the varsity ice hockey team, and watching her thrive on the field hockey and lacrosse fields. During Jackie's four years at Brooks, she earned 12 varsity letters, was a three-sport captain of field hockey, ice hockey in both her junior and senior years, <clears throat> and lacrosse. A phenomenal athlete and a fierce competitor, Jackie was beloved by her coaches and teammates. When she was awarded the Girls' Senior Athletic Prize during her graduation weekend, one of Jackie's coaches stated, she has passion, she cares about the individuals on her team and knows how to elevate her game to push her team to the next level. Along with the Girls' Senior Athletic Prize, Jackie earned many other accolades during her time at Brooks. To name a few, she was a two-time ISL All-League First Team selection, a two-time Boston Globe All-Scholastic player, an honorable ISL honorable mention in 2009, and named to the National Field Hockey Coaches Association All-Region Team in 2011. Jackie also played club field hockey for the Northeast Elite Program, run by another distinguished Brooks athlete and alumna, Chelsea Fioli, class of 2006. Chelsea, who is here with us today, shared these kind words about Jackie. As a young club field hockey owner, I was instantly drawn to Jackie, not only because I was a Brooks alum, but because I could quickly recognize her deep passion and commitment to the sport and her aspirations both on and off the field. Her personality and her values are exactly what I knew I wanted to build my club program around in the early years. Taking Jackie under my wing was a simple task because she was the type of kid who was all in and bought into anything that would help propel her to her dreams of becoming a Division I athlete. Her skills rapidly became elite but her leadership, maturity, and overall presence as a confident young woman was what has and what always will distinguish her as one of the very best young women I have ever had the opportunity to coach and mentor. Jackie continued her career as a student athlete at Boston College as a member of their Division I field hockey team, where she continued to earn accolades, to no one's surprise. She participated in the USA Field Hockey Women's National Championship, competed in USA Field Hockey's Under-21 Championship, was named to the ACC Academic Honor Roll, and was awarded the Athletic Director's Award for Academic Achievement both her sophomore and junior years at BC. She was also awarded the Boston College Field Hockey Coaches Award. We are fortunate to have Jackie here with us today. Following chapel, we invite the adult members of our community and the members of the field hockey, ice hockey, and lacrosse teams to join us in the admissions waiting room for a small reception to celebrate Jackie. Please join me in welcoming her now. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on this special day celebrating Kippy Little and girls athletics here at Brooks. I feel so honored to be standing up here speaking to you today as this place, the people in Brooks athletics means so much to me. I came to Brooks with the primary goal of playing college ice hockey. It was pretty much the entire reason I applied to Brooks in the first place as boarding school was not a concept to familiar to many where I grew up. In the winters, I played at Assabet Valley, and the summers were filled with tournaments, camps, and all in the hopes of getting as much ice time in front of prep school and college coaches as possible. I played lacrosse competitively through middle school as well, but my entire focus was ice hockey. In the seventh grade, I picked up the field hockey stick for the first time. I started to play solely because my friends were playing, and when I quickly realized I wasn't as good at soccer as I thought I was. Fast forward, I learned how to hit the ball, and I showed up at Brooks preseason. I was a scared 14-year-old who really knew no one, was away from home for the first time, and after running the beep test at our first session, 
I genuinely was sitting there being like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? This team seems so elite. I say elite because when I was a freshman at Brooks, the juniors, class of 2010, had about 10 collegiate, collegiate athletes and they all happened to play every single sport I did. I really thought I had no business being on the same field as most of them. And when preseason ended, Casey Bobo had me and my two soon to be friends for life, Ellie Barker and Ellie Donahue, sitting on her couch in PBA telling us we made varsity field hockey. To be honest, looking back, and not to sound too dramatic, but this was a life-defining moment for me. <laughs> it was defining not because it was varsity versus JV, but because I got the opportunity to be on this field in the first place with the group of girls that I did. It may sound surprising, but this was the first time I was truly part of a, of a team. Middle school sports was comprised of bracketed age groups by birth year, so you were never had the opportunity to play with girls four years above you or four years below you. Being able to be on this team at 14 years old gave me the opportunity to watch, learn, and absorb everything and anything these girl, older girls did or said. I learned what true leadership, grit, discipline, competition, and hard work look like, and I learned it from some of the best. I learned my place, I learned how to earn the respect of my teammates by working hard, being a good teammate, and ultimately learning how to be a good competitor, which are key to the person I am today. This group was loud, silly, competitive, and tough. They led from the front, and the expectations they had for their teammates were always known. They were fierce competitors, but the best big sisters, and many have become lifelong friends of mine. When I think back to my younger self, these girls are some of the girls I looked up to most in my adult life, more than any college teammate. Yes, maybe it was because I was more impressionable when I was here, but I, th I more so think it's because of how special Brooks Athletics was to me in this place and people are. I was fortunate enough to more or less move from season to season with the same group of girls, and no matter what sport it was, these qualities carried through. I don't think I will ever forget going up against Chapin Duke, class of 2010, who later became a teammate of mine at Boston College in a lacrosse drill that we called Atta Girl. It was essentially a full field one-on-one, -on -one, and when you went up against Chapin, she literally would die to win and kill you in the process. <laughs> the competition she brought was absolutely insane. Or going up against Christy Donovan on the ice, who went on to play Division I lacrosse at UVA. It did not matter the sport or how much they liked it or if they were planning to play the sport in the next level. They went, they went all in 100% all of the time. When I was a sophomore at Brooks, Casey Bobo introduced me to Chelsea Fioli, BC field hockey legend, Brooks class of 2006, and a Kippy Little Day speaker a couple years back. My relationship with Chelsea started on the North Andover turf with her teaching me how to properly receive a field hockey ball and how to do a reverse chip. And this is where my B journey to BC really started. My recruiting process was nothing short of miserable, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Chelsea, Janelle, Sharps, and Frenchie, as well as Bobo, served as coaches, dorm, dorm parents, advisors, and full-time therapists. I can't tell you how many tears I shed during this year, whether it was BC asking me to take the SAT for what seemed like the seventh time, <laughs> a bad game where they were watching, or how often the BC coach told Chelsea she was unsure if I could even ride the bench. <laughs> but being a BC Eagle was pretty much a dream of mine for as long as I can remember. And when it became even the slightest bit of a possibility, I was gonna do pretty much anything to make it happen. A million reverse chips later on the north end of her track and Chelsea pretty much begging Ainsley Lamb to trust her on me, she finally offered me a spot on the team. Chelsea, I am forever indebted and grateful to you. Although we never played together at Brooks or BC, and the connection we made through Brooks Field Hockey and our now friendship reminds me constantly how special this place is. When I was offered a spot on BC, I was offered a spot on the team with no scholarship. I was fully prepared to ride the bench for the next four years, and heading into freshman preseason as the only freshman not on a scholarship, you could say I really thought I did not deserve to be there. While I was on the team, I pretty much did everything and anything I was asked to do. I was reliable, dependable, competitive, and most importantly, I was coachable. All things learned at Brooks. 
Whatever I was asked to do, I pretty much did it. And to my surprise, I think everybody else is, <laughs> I got significant time freshman year. After that season and what I soon learned were dreaded individual meetings with our whole coaching staff, my mom asked me to raise the question of a scholarship. At this point, I was playing more than other girls in my class who were on full rides. So at the end of the meeting, I asked the question and the answer was, yep, not gonna happen, but we wanna switch your position, what do you think? And I said, sure, because that's just what I did. And that spring, I was run into the ground learning a new position and was determined to surprise my coaches with how hard I was gonna work with the cards that they dealt me. I said earlier, making the field hockey team here at Brooks freshman year was a life-changing moment, and not to sound too dramatic again, but this was absolutely another. Being on a Division I collegiate team was very different than my experience at Brooks. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my time with BC field hockey, but it's a very different beast. There is so much attention to detail, so much focus, and so much time spent doing one thing, it truly feels like a full-time job. There's also the added complexity that someone's livelihood is dependent on your performance on a field, and that same person is in charge of making every single decision in your life. When you eat, what you eat, what you drink, when you sleep, when you see your friends, etc., etc. I learned one thing pretty quickly while at BC. You cannot control the cards you are dealt, who deals the cards. You can only control what you do with those cards. This was something that took me a while to realize, and I still forget it from time to time, but once I did, everything got better. I encourage each and every one of you to try and do this in your daily life, no matter what that may be. Be it getting into a specific college, getting recruited, making a sports team here, or getting a part in play or musical. It could be what dorm you're in, what classes get put on your schedule. You will not always be able to control these things, but you can control how you respond. You can control the time, effort, thoughtfulness, and your overall outlook you put into these things. Hard work and a positive attitude is pretty much all you can control in any and every situation you're in. So why was this spring season so life-changing for me? I would like to tell you that after that spring, I became an All-American on the team and my coach offered me a full ride immediately, but that was not the case. However, that spring, I learned to control what I could control, which was how hard I worked, and let go of the rest to work itself out. I was the strongest, fastest, and most fit I had been in years. I understood the game at a level I never had before, and I was thriving in the backfield, something I never thought I could do. Before this point, anyone who has watched me play a sport knows I am horrible at anything defense related, so this was a surprise. After that spring and a summer spent training, I started every single game the remainder of my career. The girl that had no scholarship that everyone thought would never play played pretty much every minute of every game for th three seasons straight, which included three NCAA tournaments and, elite eight, and an Elite Eight appearance. I finally got that scholarship at the start of my junior year and became a, pr a critical member of our team. I know that my journey at BC sounds linear, but it was not. There were so many ups and downs, so many calls or texts to Chelsea and the rest of my support system, so much dissecting a coach's decisions or my play or the play of others on my teams, and there were so many times when I, want, when I would take one step forward with the team and two steps back. There were so many times that I genuinely thought my coaches were never gonna reward me for my hard work or that, no, or that none of what I was putting myself through was actually gonna matter. But I trusted my process, controlled what I could, and it paid off. My work ethic determination I learned while at Brooks, in particular while having the opportunity to be a part of women's sports here, has instilled the qualities that allowed me to become the student athlete I was at BC and allowed me to realize that with a big dream, an immense amount of hard work, and a good attitude, good things happen. It may take a while, longer than bearable at some points, but having a goal, pouring hard work into it, regardless of what the external circumstances are, things will shake out for the best. Without my experience I had on teams at Brooks, I'm not sure I would have had it in me to push through what I experienced mentally and physically while at BC. Freshmen and sophomores, I encourage you to listen, absorb, and watch your older teammates, dorm mates, and classmates. They've walked in your shoes and can help you not only navigate this place, but can help you be better than they once were. Juniors and seniors, although it may not seem important or that you're not someone that people are looking up to, you are. Everything you do and say is an example for someone else, and I encourage you to realize that and wake up every day with the intention to put your best self forward in everything that you do. 
I feel so lucky to have such an amazing group of young women to look up to while I was here at Brooks. They have had more impact on the person I have become than they will ever know. I owe a lot of my character to them and to this place. If I was not led to Brooks School, I'm not sure where I would be today. My life would certainly not be the same, that's for sure. Brooks Athletics made me who I am, my character, my confidence, and my work ethic. My time as a collegiate ab athlete absolutely shaped me, but my time with Brooks Athletics brought the absolute best out in me and instilled qualities that are core to my being today. It would have been really easy to say poor me and give up many, in many situations while at BC and many times in the recruiting process. I really wanted to many of times, and I still have days today where I feel the same, as I'm sure many of you do too. Some days the process is exhausting and it feels like you're never gonna come up for air. I have this place to thank for molding me into the person who pushes those thoughts away, bears down and grinds through the process, and I encourage each and every one of you to do the same here. It'll be the most rewarding thing you learn here. Thank you. Thank you.